Hi guys, which one is larger? 50 to the 50 or 49 to the power of 51? But the question is really beautiful, but the numbers are crazy. Can you see 49 plus 1 is 50 and 51 minus 1 is 50? So there's something similar and closer to each other. What do we do here in this question? Let me write it down. What we are going to do is divide both sides by 49 to the power of 51. So for the left hand side, we divide it by 49 to the power of 51. And on the right hand side, divided by 49 to the power of 51 is equal to 1. So we have something like this. Now, this is quite clear. It's 1. But we need to work on this. Let's write it down. So we have 50 to the power of 50 over now 49 to the power of 51. Actually in this, we are comparing this with this. And 49 to the 51 can be written as 49 to the power of 50 times 49. Now you can see the same exponent 50 here and same exponent 50 here. 50 over 49. So you can write it down 50 to the 50 over 49 to the 50 times you can write this as 1 over 49. Now this 50 you can take it out. 50 over 49 whole to the power of 50 times you have 1 over 49. Now this 50 to the 49. We have this 50 over 49. 50 over 49 can be written as 49 plus 1 over 49. So what do we get? 1 plus 1 over 49. Alright, so I'm going to write that here. 1 plus 1 over 49 whole to the power of 50 times 1 over 49. To tell you the truth, we have a problem here. Have a look at this section. What's the problem? The base of the exponent. Base is complicated. Answer is the exponent. Exponent has a problem. By looking at the term, we don't like its form. We always like 1 plus 1 over n whole to the power of n. However, if we substitute 49 for n, the exponent is not 49. It's 50. So what's with the exponent? We can separate this exponent. So we can separate a 49 from this 50. That means I can consider 50 as 49 plus 1. So it can be rewritten as 1 plus 1 over 49 whole to the power of 49 times 1 plus 1 over 49 times we have this 1 over 49. Now the problem is this guys. Don't forget it has a form of 1 plus 1 over n whole to the power of n. So then I don't know if you have heard about Euler's number e. The definition of Euler's number is actually, I'm going to write it here, limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 over n whole to the power of n is equal to e. What's that? It's a letter e. Now it's actually a number which is approximately equal to 
45 and so on it is an irrational number so complicated for this question this method is a piece of cake so very easy to understand why just have a look e is approximately equal to 2.718 it is of course smaller than 3 that's the only thing which is important it is smaller than 3 whatever is the value of n it is always 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 smaller than 3 so this part here is smaller than 3 so the last step it is of course smaller than 3 times this part times 1 plus 1 over 49 can be written as 49 plus 1 over 49 49 plus 1 is 50 50 over 49 then times we have 1 over 49 calculate please don't let me tell you 50 over 49 is greater than 1 this is not the thing we should work with this one 1 over 49 it is smaller than 1 over 6 obviously the denominators are 49 and 6 and 49 is greater than 6 so 1 over 49 is less than 1 over 6 so in the end this is less than 3 times 50 over 49 times I'm gonna take 1 6 you can cancel out 3 times 2 is 6 so what I left with 50 over 49 times 2 so that is less than 50 over 49 times 2 is 98 and 50 over 98 is less than 1 so what do you get from this all these terms all these terms are equal to the left hand side and left hand side is compared to 1 so this thing is less than 1 so obviously this is less than 1 therefore we can say t to the power of 50 is less than 49 to the power of 51 thank you so much for watching bye bye take care